Hi everyone, here is our logic problem for today. We are given this numeric lock with a three-digit key. And the way to open this lock is for us to follow this logic stated in these four statements. The first one is one number among two, six, and five is correct and is placed well. Second, all these numbers, three, eight, seven, are wrong. Third, one number among two, three, and four is correct but wrongly placed. And lastly, two numbers from four, seven, and one are correct but are wrongly placed. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this logic problem. And if you know the answer, you can write them in our comments. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's first look at the numbers that we can choose from. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The digit nine is not among the options. So that means for the first column, we can choose from digits one to eight, the same with the second and the third column. The first statement says that one number is correct and is placed well. It could be two in the first digit, six in the second digit, and five in the last digit. At this point, it is best to eliminate first those numbers that we know are not solutions to our puzzle. So let's go to the second statement. All numbers are wrong. So we can eliminate this three, we can eliminate the eights, and we can eliminate the number sevens. Based on statement number three, one number is correct, but wrongly placed. So two could be correct, but if two is correct, it should not be in the first column. So we can eliminate two in the first column, Three is already eliminated here, and then four should not be in the last column based on statement number three. So let's eliminate four. Next, based on statement number four, two numbers are correct but wrongly placed. So if four is correct, four could not be in the first column. So let's eliminate four here. Seven is already eliminated in all columns, and one could not be in the last column. Then let's go back to our first statement. One number is correct, and is placed well. Since two is already eliminated, this two could not be here. So two is also eliminated. So based on statement number one, six and five could still be our candidates. Next, let's go back to the last statement. Two numbers are correct, and we already know that seven is not correct. So we know that four and one are the correct digits, but they are wrongly placed. That means four could not be in the first column that leaves us only one in the first column. So that means one is now the first digit in the puzzle. Now, by knowing that one is in the first column, we are left with number four as the only correct digit based on statement number four. So four could be in the second column, four could be in the last column, but notice that four cannot be in the last column based on our elimination previously. So we have nowhere to place four but in the middle column, so four, must be the middle digit. And then going back to the first statement, one number is correct and is placed well. We know two is not that number, six is not that number because we already know that the middle digit is four. So we are left here with five as the only correct answer based on statement one, and five is in the right place value. So five must be the third digit. And so we now have the answer to our puzzle. The code to open this numeric clock is one, four, and five, and that opens the lock. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.